ever get that itch, that pull towards the open road, even if you can't quite place where you'd go. Hmm, I know exactly what you mean. Today, we're diving into Kurt Holes. It's Wonder Not Wonder, a song that bottles that feeling, that longing for exploration. It's interesting you say bottles, because music has this amazing ability to capture these intangible human experiences, like this yearning for something more that's hardwired into our very being. It really is. And Holes wastes no time tapping into that feeling. I mean, right from the first verse. I see the road so wide and open, footsteps, eager hearts are hoping. Mm. It's like he's placing us right on that precipice of possibility. Absolutely. This imagery immediately throws us into the heart of wanderlust. It's that classic hero's journey motif thing Odysseus embarking on his odyssey, or even those early explorers setting sail for unknown territories. There's something deeply ingrained in us that responds to the allure of the unknown, wouldn't you say? Totally. And this isn't just about fantasizing about far-off lands. It's about actively choosing to embrace the unknown. As he says, it's wander not wonder, let's get lost. I find his word choice here particularly fascinating. It's not wonder, which implies passive observation, maybe even a touch of fear. He's urging us to wander, to actively engage with the world, to lose ourselves in the experience of discovery. To get a little lost, to stray from the beaten path, it's exhilarating, even a little scary. And this idea of embracing the unknown, especially at night, feels amplified in the lines. A world to see with eyes so bright, Let's roam the streets, we'll own the night. There's a real shift in energy there, right? Almost like the night itself becomes this playground of possibilities. It reminds me of something Antoine de Saint-Exupéry wrote, The night is the time for dreaming big dreams and making them a reality. It's as if the veil of darkness allows us to see the world and ourselves with fresh eyes. It's like the night strips away everything familiar and suddenly you're open to completely new experiences. And that phrase, own the night, is incredibly powerful. It's about taking ownership of our experiences, of choosing to live fully present in each moment. Precisely. And while this literally refers to exploring city streets at night, I think it also speaks to a broader idea of self-discovery. It's about embracing those moments when we feel most alive, most present, even if they take us outside our comfort zones. You know, when he sings, we won't stay still, our hearts won't hide. Adventure waits, let's take the ride. It feels like a call to action. It's like he's challenging us to step outside of ourselves to embrace the unexpected turns in our own lives. Exactly. Maybe your adventure isn't scaling Mount Everest. Maybe it's finally starting that project you've been putting off or connecting with someone new. It's about recognizing that the most rewarding journeys are often the ones we embark on with an open mind and a willingness to embrace the unknown. So I'll ask you this. What adventure, big or small, will you take this week? 